Hello and welcome to my new video, How to Draw the Titanic Part 1. Today I'll show you one way of drawing the Titanic using soft pencils. In Part 2, I'll show you a colour version of this drawing. As with any drawing, it is good to start with the very basic shapes and then to add the details and tonal shading later. So the first step in this drawing is to draw the side curve of the ship. This line will be going away towards the right and now I'll draw the line of the front of the ship which goes slightly towards the right as it comes down and then the left hand line of the ship which comes right into the front line and then just the back and then a water line um, at the base of the ship. Next I'll draw the top part of the ship just as basic blocks that I can add details to later on. I make a few lines to indicate the other side of the ship. So the next, these lines seem to work okay together, so I'm going to make some of the lines a little bit darker so that I can see what I've got, which is the basic shape of the ship, of the Titanic. So at this stage, even with just a few lines, it's good to make sure that they all work together and it looks like a large ship coming towards us. So if you see any lines that don't quite work, this is a stage to sort them out. It would be good at this stage to keep these lines as simple and as clear as possible so that we have a good solid foundation to put the details on in a short while. The next step is to draw the horizon which needs to be slightly above the waterline of the ship. This will make the Titanic seem larger and that we are looking up towards it. So now we have the basic shape of the Titanic drawn in. We can draw in the front mast which would be very very tall and just a straight line at the front. And then next after this we can work out a little bit where the first of the four funnels will go and roughly how wide those are. And then the other three funnels will be in behind the first one. But before I do that I'll just add a few more blocks of the top structure of the Titanic so that um, it's a little bit more complicated at the top so I can put more details in. So this funnel up here I'll just find the top ellipse of the funnel. But they're very tall funnels on the Titanic so just working out quite where they go. Again, just looking at it in relation to the other shapes that we've already drawn, just so it fits in. And then the three other funnels, like I say, can just be popped in behind the front funnel. And that will give some sense of um, perspective for shortening things going away from us. Next, I'll just redraw the line of the top here to make a double line. So now we have funnels on our Titanic. And then the next stage, I guess, is to put in a few more details. But before I put in any more details, I think I'll just use an eraser to clear up the drawing. With a drawing like this, I think it's good just to clean this up at any stage so that you've just got the lines that are really necessary so it doesn't get too complicated or confusing. So now we're ready to put in some of the actual details and I'll start at the front here. So the Titanic was obviously such a big ship that we won't really see many details apart from windows because we're so far away from it from the point of view of the observer. So the next step here now is to redefine some of the ellipses of the top of the funnels so that it looks like we're looking up towards them. And I'll make these lines darker and more secure. Again, I don't really need to draw everything in detail because we're looking at a very large thing very far away. So I just give some indication of the main shapes, blocking in the smaller details just as we blocked in the larger shapes at the beginning. So here at the front I think there must be some more windows so I'll pop those in. Now some of these windows when I move on to doing a tonal drawing will be dark and some of them will be light but for now I just draw them as shapes. As I'm more certain about where I want lines I make the lines a bit darker. So the next step from here is to get it ready for a tonal shaded drawing so I'll pop in some of the um, smoke from the funnels and that will just be the first three funnels of the Titanic. And then I'll put the mast, the back mast of the Titanic in, like I've got the front one. Obviously it would be much smaller and um, thinner than the front mast. So these lines which are going away towards the right are going to get narrower and smaller as they go away to create um, a sense of perspective along the right hand side of the ship. So the next step now is to add some shading. So I'll start at the top of the funnel of the front funnel and just block in some dark shading leaving a highlight for where the dark top of the funnel catches the light 
And although it's going to be a scene at night, eventually, I want to create a sense of dramatic light within the ship to start off with. And then later on in this video, I'm going to make the sea uh, darker and the sky be a nighttime sky. And then on the left, I'll put in a iceberg, which the Titanic obviously is going towards. And that will be about it. I hope you like this drawing and I hope you find it useful for your own drawing. Please subscribe to Circle Line Art School for many more art videos. In part two of this video, I'm going to redraw the Titanic on black paper using um, pastels so that it's a coloured drawing. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.